Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Wyatt, and today I'll be teaching you how to script a music player on Roblox. Okay, so before I show you how to make the script, I just want to show you how it works. So all we have to do is go into the game, and as you'll hear, music will start to play in the background. And then when I click the mute button, it'll turn off. And then when I unmute, it'll play again. Okay, so now that you know what the script does, I actually want to show you how to make it. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new screen GUI under Starter GUI. Uh, and I'm just going to name it Music. And we're going to create that mute button that you saw in the beginning of the video under here. So I'm just going to make it a text button, but this can be any type of button that you want. I'm just going to size it a little bit so that it scales on all screen resolutions, just so that my mobile players will have an easy way to mute and unmute their music. They won't have to go hunting around the screen to find a really small button or anything like that. Um, and I'm just going to make the text scale as well. Uh, and to start, we're just going to make it say Mute Song. After this, I want to name this right here. I want to name this button Mute. And I'm going to create a new folder under Music. And this is actually going to be where we store our songs. So most music scripts nowadays, they actually store their songs in the script itself. But we're going to store them in a folder, so it's a lot easier to add songs. So I'm just going to name this folder Songs. And I'm going to create a new sound underneath of this folder. And I'm just going to name it Song. Now, in this song, we have all these properties in this sound. But what we want to focus on is the Sound ID property. This actually, so this is the Roblox ID of the sound that we want to play. So I could go to Google and I, if I wanted to maybe, let's say I wanted to, I don't know, maybe I wanted to get like a holiday type song. I could type in the name of the song in Google and then type in Roblox ID after it and it would give you this string of numbers and all you do is you put that number in here and then it'll basically load up the sound and it'll be ready for us to play inside of our script. So I have a song right here, a song ID, so I'm just going to copy this right in, this song, just like that, and my song's all loaded up and ready. Um, but you could have as many songs as you want. So right now I only have one song, but maybe if I wanted to add two more, all I have to do is copy this and paste it. I can just make as many of these values as I'd like, uh, and then I can change the sound IDs. But for now I'm only going to have one song, but you can add as many as you like. Um, and now that's pretty much it for the visual component of this. We can actually start scripting this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new script under this GUI. And it'll be a local script because we need to be able to access that mute button. And what I'm going to do is just name it music script so that we know exactly what it's doing. Uh, and then we can actually get into coding it. So the first line I'm going to say local songs. We're going to get a reference to the children of the songs folder. So all, so all the different sounds we have. So if we have song one, song two, we'll return in an array those different songs. So local songs equals script.parent.songs colon get children. Uh, and then after this, the next variable we need is we need a reference to this mute button right here. You could just say everywhere script.parent.mute, but I like to have my stuff in variables. So I'm just gonna say local mute button equals script.parent.mute. Uh, and now what we're going to do is I'm going to set up, we're, we're going to put a little bit more code up here later, but the first thing we need to do is actually make it so our songs play. Uh, so we're going to create a new while true loop, so while true do, and enter, and it'll end it off just like that. And we're going to create a for loop inside of this. So we're going to say for each song that we have, for all of our songs, we want to play the song, we want to wait until the song's finished, then we want to stop the song, and then play the next song. So I'm going to say for i equals 1 comma number of songs. So for each song, we're going to do whatever code is in here. And in here, we're going to say local song equals songs i. So that gets the current song. So if we had song 1, song 2, the first time around, it would get song 1. And then the second time in this loop, it gets song 2. Uh, and, and then all we're going to do is say song colon play, call the play method of the song. And now, we don't want it to move on to the next song right away. We need to wait until the song's actually finished playing. And the way we get the length of the song is saying song.timelength. So we're just going to say wait song.timelength, like that. And then after this, we're just going to stop the song. So song colon stop, we'll call the stop method on the song. 
Uh, and then after this, so this is a perfectly good, you know, a good functioning music player. So if you don't want your players to be able to mute the music with your GUI, you can just end the tutorial here. This will work 100%. It'll be nice and good. You can have your players enjoy music. But I like having a mute feature on my music because not all players like music. Some players like certain types of music and they might not like what you're playing. So I always like to add a mute button and we'll script that next. So I'm just going to say mute button dot mouse button one click. So when we click on the mute button and we'll connect that to a function. Uh, and then in this function, we need to check if it's already muted or if it's not muted yet. So if it's, our, if it's not muted yet, then we need to mute it. And if it's already muted, then we need to unmute it. So we're going to say if mute button dot text equals mute song, just like this. So if it's unmuted, because it'll say mute song, then what we want to do is we want to loop through all of the songs. So for i equals one common number of songs, just as we did down here a little bit earlier, do just as before, we'll say local song equals songs i. So we get the exact song that we're looping over. Uh, and we're just going to set the song volume to zero. So the song will still play in the background and it'll still advance to the next song but we'll just set the volume to zero. And this is the easiest way I found to actually mute the song. Um, and then, so this is if it's muted, right? And what we wanna do is we wanna set the text to unmute song so that the player knows that now they can unmute it. So we'll say mute button, just like this, dot text equals unmute song. And now we need to get it if they click unmute song. So it's already muted and now they need to be able to put it back on. So we'll say else, so if it's not equal to mute song, you can put an else if, but I'm just going to put an else. And then we'll do the same thing as we did up here, and I'm actually just going to copy the code. You can do this too, or you can copy it from the description if you'd like. Uh, and then all I'm going to say is instead of song.volume equals zero, I'm going to say song.volume equals the desired volume. So in this case, I want my song to be 0.5, that's how loud I want it to be, but you can make this however loud you'd like. Uh, and then we just need to tell the player that they can mute the song again. And that actually should be it for the script, which is really cool. And we can just go in and play the game to test it. Uh, and as you'll see, we go in, we just have to wait for it to load. Uh, and it should, it'll start playing the song, just like that. And then we click mute. See, it'll mute it, and then we click unmute. And it'll put it back on, super cool. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. As always, I'll have the pastebin link with the code and the Roblox model link for all the assets shown in this video in the description. And I'll see you guys later.